Battle of Okinawa, 1945. By this time, the Soviets and other American soldiers have already nearly ended Nazi Germany's death grip on Europe, but in the Pacific, there was still a war to fight, and a big one. The Battle of Okinawa was part of a bigger operation codenamed Operation Iceberg in which the United States military was tasked with taking control of the Rukyu Islands where Okinawa was located. On the 1st of April 1945, which was Easter Sunday, over 180,000 American Army and Marine Corps troops stormed the island. The U.S. soldiers had just been victorious over the Japanese in the battle for Iwo Jima and now Okinawa was the last stop before the Japanese mainland. Okinawa was full of thick foliage and trees, which was a nice home field advantage of sorts to the Japanese. The Japanese would need every advantage they could get as this was the last major location to defend before the incoming allies reached their motherland. The Japanese knew if Okinawa fell, so would Japan, so this was a must-win battle for the Japanese. On the other hand, Okinawa would also be critical to the Americans as well as they would need the air bases and other supplies there to have an attack on Japan's mainland. The main military force in charge of defending Okinawa, the 32nd Army of Japan, was around 130,000 men strong, led by Lieutenant General Mitsuru Ushijima. Several civilians and home guard troops also helped the cause. When the invasion began, American troops were understandably nervous as they were landing on an enemy beach, which may have reminded them of D-Day, which was very bloody, but due to the unbelievable naval bombardment earlier in the morning by the U.S. 5th Fleet Navy, there was little to no resistance as waves after waves of American soldiers, vehicles, and other supplies were loaded onto the island of Okinawa. Shortly after the landings, American troops secured the Kadena and Yantan airfields. As the Americans moved closer into the heart of the island, they still had not encountered much Japanese resistance. However, this is what they wanted, as the goal for the Japanese was to wait for the Americans to go south of Okinawa near Shuri, and then attack them using a triangle of defenses created by General Ushijima. These defenses were called the Shuri Defense Line. Here, the Americans had to overcome heavily defended areas as the Japanese were determined to win this battle. On the 7th of April, the powerful Japanese battleship, the Yamato, was sent to defend Okinawa. However, the Yamato was detected by U.S. forces and was attacked by Allied air and naval bombs until it sank, along with most of its men. The American forces eventually cleared some entrenchments near Shuri outposts, and after these, they fought several more intense battles with some including Sugarloaf Hill and Horseshoe Ridge, among other places. By late May, the casualties were building on both sides as the Americans finally took control of Shuri Castle. The Japanese made their way to the southern coast of Okinawa, where their last stand would take place. The infamous Kamikaze planes were sent out as early as the 4th of April, but now with the situation being dire for Japan, they were now more frequent to see flying around. Their target was the American 5th Fleet, the same fleet who bombarded the Okinawa coastline the morning of the initial invasion on the 1st of April. The American sailors tried to shoot them down, but were often ineffective and the kamikazes crashed into the ships at speeds of around 500 miles an hour. Because of the kamikaze and other attacks, the 5th Fleet suffered big losses. They had lost over 30 ships and suffered nearly 10,000 casualties, with around half of those casualties being confirmed deaths. An infamous battle that took place at Okinawa was Hacksaw Ridge that started on the 26th of April. This was a 400 foot tall cliff that was critical for the United States to take control of. It was a very costly battle on both sides, however, U.S. Corporal Desmond Dawes, who was a medic because he didn't want to shoot the enemy due to his beliefs, saved over 70 of his wounded comrades. The U.S. took control of the ridge on May 6th. Dawes was awarded the Medal of Honor due to his bravery and courage. Thinking the end was near, many Japanese soldiers and civilians alike took their own lives. To encourage the surrender of the Japanese, the United States dropped leaflets saying the war was over and to surrender. Around 7,000 Japanese did surrender, but many chose to kill themselves. When the Japanese high command realized that further warfare was pointless, General Ushijima and his chief of staff, General Osamu Cho, both committed ritual suicide on the 22nd of June. By now, the Battle of Okinawa was essentially over and the United States had suffered nearly 50,000 casualties, including nearly 13,000 soldiers killed, while the Japanese suffered worse, with over 100,000 Japanese soldiers being killed. It is estimated that around 40 to 150,000 Okinawa civilians also died as a result of the battle.
now within striking distance of Japan, the Allies could make a move and invade. However, U.S. President Harry Truman knew that over two million angry Japanese soldiers were waiting for them and ready to attack anyone threatening their homeland. Truman knew also that the casualties would be unlike anything seen before if Japan was invaded. Because of this, Truman decided it was best to drop the atomic bombs, and so he did on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, and this was enough for the Japanese to surrender on the 14th of August, 1945, marking an end to the Second World War. Thanks for watching.